Okay, so this video is going to take a look at solving multi-step equations. Now, multi-step equations can have a few different things with them. Um, and one of the things that we're going to look at in this class is, is solving equations that have multiple occurrences of a variable. So let's consider the equation. We'll just solve this one first. 3x plus 1 is equal to... 7x minus 5. So if we wanted to solve this particular equation, what we would have to do is we would have to collect our like terms. So that means we would have to take a look at all four of our terms, and we would have to bring them together if they were like. Now I'll note that the 1 and the 5 are like, and I'll also note that the 7x and the 3x are like. So some people prefer to have their variables all the time on the left, some people prefer on the right, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and move terms. So I'm gonna move this seven X to the right, or to the left, and I'm gonna move this one over to the other side. And I'll do that by subtracting one from both sides. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. So those will cancel, and I'll be left with three X is equal to seven X minus 6, because minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. Now, like I had said, I'm going to move the 7x over, so I'll do that by subtracting 7x. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So those, again, will cancel. And I'll be left with minus 4x is equal to negative 6. And I have one last step to solve this problem. I need to say, okay, well, what's with the x? I want x alone. It looks like it's being multiplied by negative 4. So to get rid of multiplication, I'm going to divide. Divide both sides by negative 4. Now get that x is equal to, hmm, what's negative 6 divided by negative 4? Well, if you're good with your fractions, you know right away that this reduces to 3 over 2. If you use your calculator, you'll get that it gets to 1.5. But because there are two negatives, it makes a positive result. So this would be one of the simpler type solving multi-step equations that we'll deal with. Let's take a look at one that's perhaps a little bit more tricky. Suppose I have a problem like this. And so uh, I've got three times something is equal to something else here. Um, what I have to do first is I actually have to take in to account this set of brackets. I need to clear it up. So I need to make this problem look like my first example. I'll do that using the distributive property. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Then I still haven't done anything with this plus 2, and I also haven't done anything with the right-hand side of the equation. Now I'll simplify a little bit further here. Minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. So I have 3x minus 4 is equal to 4x minus 7. Great. Now I'm at that same step that I was one example ago. I just have to start moving terms. An easy way to think about moving terms is when you bring a term over to another side, you change its sign. So if I wanted to bring this 4 over to here, it would become positive 4. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. And that way, those two things cancel. Now I can do this at the same time. I want to bring this 4x over to here. Well, it's positive on this side, so it'll become negative right here. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So here, positive 4x and negative 4x also cancel. Now, I've shown my rough work in red underneath. You should be showing some rough work, and there's multiple different ways of showing it. Now we'll simplify. 3x minus 4 plus 4, well, the 4 is cancelled, so 3x minus 4x is just minus 1x. And then negative 7 plus 4 is just negative 3. Well, if negative x equals negative 3, then I suppose that means x equals 3. And we're done. And those are two examples of solving multi-step equations.